Hey, what's up guys? This is Eric with Olympic Health Physics and today we're going to be talking about SEMPTI patterns. So what is a SEMPTI pattern anyways? Uh, SEMPTI pattern, first of all, it's an acronym, S-M-P-T-E. It's for the Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers. And this is a test pattern that we use in imaging to evaluate the quality of our monitors. So why do we care? Well, we care for two reasons, really. The first reason is, is that it is uh, required by the ACR to check the SEMPTI pattern on your CT scanner on a monthly basis. It's part of the visual checklist. And number two, it's just a good idea to take a look at a test pattern to evaluate the quality of your monitor to make sure that your monitor is doing exactly what, what it should be and what you think it's doing. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple documents and figure out where we can find out a little bit more information about a SEMPTI pattern and how we evaluate the SEMPTI pattern. So the first thing that I want to show you here is the ACR CT quality control manual. This is, uh, as of this recording, this is the most recent from 2017. And we're going to flip all the way down to page 48. So 48 is where uh, the manual talks about the gray level performance of the CT scanner acquisition display monitors. And this will walk you through what you're going to um, look for. But I'm also going to walk you through it. We're going to go through it step by step and show you exactly what you need to do. Okay, so this document is the CT Equipment Quality Control Data Form that is provided to us from the ACR. And what you'll notice, you have all of your daily QC that you're going to be documenting on the left-hand side. You have your monthly visual checklist, but then you have this monthly display uh, monitor gray level. And right here it shows you SEMPTI pattern. So what we want to look for is the 5% patch in the in the 0 to 5% that that's discernible, the 95% patch in the 100% patch is discernible, and we're also looking for the distinct gray level steps. Okay, so let's actually take a look at a SEMPTI pattern. So here I've brought up a SEMPTI pattern in a DICOM viewer. This is uh, what the SEMPTI pattern is going to look like on all of the uh, CT scanners. So with this pattern, what you're going to notice is you have a black patch right here, and that's labeled 0%. And then you, you go to a 10% patch right here, and it shows you that it's 10%. And here's your 20% patch, 30, 40 is here. You have two 50% patches. You have a 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. So what you're looking for over here on the distinct gray level steps, you're looking to make sure that you can see each one of the, uh, the gray level steps and that they show as distinctly different colors. Obviously the, the two 50% patches will look um, the same. So that's, as long as you can see each of the different steps, then you can pass that portion. The next thing that you're gonna look for is uh, the 5% patch, which is right here, you can see there's a, uh, this is a 5% patch that's inside of the 0% patch. And so as long as you can see that patch, then we can pass that portion. And then over here, we're looking at the 95% patch that is within the 100% patch. So this is a look at high and low contrast to make sure that you can um, uh, distinguish between very small changes in gray level. And so back to the, to the uh, data form here, as long as you can see the 5% patch within the, uh, the 0%, and you can see the 95% patch within the 100%, and you can see all of the distinct gray level steps, you can just check the box on each one of these showing that you did it, and that is pretty much it. So what do you do if you can't see those patches or you don't have distinct gray level steps? Well, that means that there could be a potential problem with the monitor that you're going to need to figure out exactly what's going on. Oftentimes, the reason for, uh, for a failure of this test is that there's just an incorrect brightness or contrast setting within the monitor. So you can sort of 
adjust those and see if you can bring those patches in. You can also contact your service engineer and you can also contact your physicist to see uh, if they have any recommendations for how you can correct the issue or if potentially the, the monitor needs to be repaired or replaced. When you're making any kind of adjustments to the monitor, you need to make sure that you're following the manufacturer's recommendations for how to do that. Some monitors will have an auto adjust feature based on the ambient light in the area. So it might go into like an economy mode or a power saver mo mode. So when you're checking the monitor, make sure that you're using the same lighting conditions uh, whenever you're, you're evaluating the SMPTE pattern. Okay, so that's it. Now you know how to evaluate your SMPTE pattern. You know what it means. You know where to document it. You know how to do it. So go get it done. It's due this month. It's due every month. So go do it. So if you have any questions, you have any comments, drop them in the box below. Give us a like, give us a thumbs up, all of the, the things, and we'll see you next time.